Hey everyone, in today's lecture, we are going to talk about adding discrete time signals. Okay, so we'll see addition of discrete time signals. When we add two discrete time signals, we do it sample by sample. It means addition of the two discrete time signals is performed on sample by sample basis. The result of adding two signals x1 of n and x2 of n is a new signal y of n whose value at any given moment is equal to the sum of the samples of the two original signals at that same moment. Right? To help us understand this concept better, let's look at an example. So I have two signals, one is x1 of n, another one is what? x2 of n. So if you see, this is what a sequence representation of a signal, right? So if you see the value of n, so n is what here? 0, right? 0, n is 1, 2, 3, and 4. Same, n, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, right? So at n is equal to 0, the value of x1 of n is what? 1. At n is equal to 1, the value of x1 of n is what? 2. So that's why I wrote this value of n also. So it is easy to understand the addition of the discrete time signals, right? So as I said you, we have to go sample by sample. So what you have to calculate here is y of n, right? y of n. So if you see here y of n basically, so this is equal to x1 of n plus x2 of n. So we have to perform addition. So okay. So check at n is equal to 0 first. So n is equal to 0. What is the value of x1 of n? 1, right? So 1 plus what is the value of x2 of n at n is equal to 0? 2. So 1 plus 2. Go sample by sample. Comma. At n is equal to 1. This is what? 2 plus 3. Right? You have to go sample by sample. Now n is equal to 2. So x1 of n is what? 3. So 3 plus x2 of n is what? 4. This is how you have to calculate. This is the short form, right? To do the things easily. So solve it now. You will get 3, 5, 7, 2, and 3. So this is what the resultant signal y of n, right? Now let's move on to the subtraction, right? So let's see how we can subtract x2 of n from x1 of n. This can be done by subtracting each sample of x2 of n from the corresponding sample of x1 of n. Let's use an example to make it clear. Right? So let's go for the example again. So and I want to calculate y of n is equal to what? x1 of n minus x2 of and right, I want to do a subtraction operation. So you have to go in a same way. So if you see here, right, what is the value of x1 of n at 10 is equal to 0? 1. So 1 minus 2 because the value of x2 of n at 10 is equal to 0 is what 2. So 1 minus 2. Next sample. So what is the value of n? x1 of n at n is equal to 1, 2. So 2 minus, what is the value of x2 of n at n is equal to 1, 3. So 2 minus 3. Same you have to go, sample by sample. Next is what? 3 minus 4. Next is what? 1 minus 1. 1 minus 1. Next is what? 5 minus of minus 2, right? So it will become 5 plus 2. Am I right? Now, if you solve this, 1 minus 2 minus 1, you will get minus 1, minus 1, 0 and 7. 
so this is what the result after subtracting s2 of n from x1 of n so hope these things are clear to you this is what subtraction subtraction result and this is one addition addition hope this much is clear to you no big deal just go sample by sample that's all okay don't think so much so one point here is the sum of two signals can be obtained by adding the corresponding sample values we have already seen this thing okay now for exam how to do this things in exam right so this is fine this is a shortcut way this is pretty much clear also but better to go through different approach if you want to write down in the exam so let me explain you that approach so suppose we have x1 of n is equal to 2 2 minus 1 x2 of n is equal to what minus 1 comma 1 comma 2 sequence representation of the two signals are present so what you have to do basically here is you have to find out the addition right add this signal signals and tell me the resultant value okay so instant n is equal to what 0 1 2 same n is equal to what 0 1 2 right now let's go ahead and do this so when n is equal to 0 so y of 0 is equal to x1 of 0 plus x2 of 0 Sample by sample. So x one of zero is what two, x two of zero is what minus one. So you will get result as what one. Now when n is equal to one, so n is equal to one, n is equal to one. So y of one is equal to what x one of one plus x two of one. This is equal to x one of one value is what two plus x two of one is equal to what one. so it will give you 3 right now when n is equal to what 2 so y of 2 is equal to what x1 of 2 plus x2 of 2 so x1 of 2 is what minus 1 so minus 1 plus 2 the value of x2 of 2 is what 2 so this will give you what 1 right so what is the final result here y of n which is basically x1 of n plus x2 of n this is equal to what 1 comma 3 comma 1 hope this explanation is clear to you so that's all about this lecture okay If you have any questions feel free to ask in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel thank you for tuning in